Shall start this off. This will be the first in what is projected to be a series of battles depicting Davu as the uh, commander under the spotlight. <clears throat> as mentioned in the last video, he is a commander who was undefeated. We will see if we can match that, uh, and that will be our kind of solo solitaire competition. <clears throat> this battle is what we will be starting with. And because we are starting with this battle, we'll be bouncing around chronologically. <clears throat> but this is the uh, I Loud battle, 8th of February, 1807. This is the 8 a.m. to noon phase. I won't go into the historical background. You can do that on your own. <clears throat> this depicts the French versus the Russians under the command of Benningson. Russians have five command cards. The French have six command cards. We will be playing this according to some tweaked house rules, this being the commands and colors system. <clears throat> In fact, and I'm pretty standard for doing this, I bouncing ideas off my in my head as I go. So I'll have to decide off the cuff here once we start <clears throat> how I want to do this. Victory is seven victory banners. So the first side to eliminate seven units is the winner. There are four special rules for this scenario. The Russian player gets one temporary victory banner for each town Hex of Ilo occupied at the start <clears throat> of the turn. Each town hex would consist of, I guess, two, there's a church, a town hex. Well, our town hexes are this hex, this hex, and then even though the church takes up both hexes, technically this hex is the church. <clears throat> that, I believe, is our town hexes. But also uh, the French, let's see, that would be the Russian player gains one temporary victory banner for those and then the French player gains one temporary victory banner for each hill hex, and there are a lot of those occupied on Russian side of battle. And now that means four hexes or closer to the Russian baseline. This is the Russian baseline, so one, two, three, four hexes. So that is a project one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Victory banners. Yep. So our seven victory banner cap can go pretty quick if we, uh, as the French can get some some hill hexes, and then the for the lakes we have three lakes. We have a lake here, and then we have two lakes. Let's see. Here and here, all right behind the, the town there. And then again, this one. Those are frozen. I need to refresh my memory on anything special that happens with frozen lakes. <clears throat> and I believe that is found in the Russian rules. Yeah, lake, frozen lake. A unit or leader that enters a frozen lake must stop and may move no further on that turn. An infantry unit may not form square on a frozen lake. A unit may battle the turn it moves on to a frozen lake hex. A unit on a frozen lake hex will reduce its battle dice rolled by one in range and melee combat. 
When targeting an enemy unit or leader on a frozen lake hex, the unit will roll one last battle die. Okay, I'll have to come back to all this. So anytime something happens on a frozen lake, we've got stuff to read because I'm not going to remember all that. And as I'm recounting these things to you, I automatically decided that it would be best to conform to the bulk of the commands and colors rules, lest I, as this is live, I look like a complete schizophrenic idiot. So let's start. Who was the, uh, the French move first? Okay. So do I want to forego the dice initiative thing and all that? I think I will. You know, let's let's go standard. Check the comments we had. I have so much trouble with your name, Diamidif. I'm sorry, brother. Good evening, Jason. I've been waiting for this. Thank you. We're rolling, we're rolling grass on the TV. Reminds you to see, huh? <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully you don't get seasick. Well, you're an old salty dog, so you shouldn't get seasick. Shuffle the deck. Still running through my mind just exactly how I want to kick this off. Buying some time, shuffling the deck. Okay. Let's go standard here for the most part. All right, so five cards for the Russians. They'll be on the left one. Two, three, four, five. A horrible shuffle job. One, two, three, four, five, six for the French. I need some of these guys so I can keep track of what's going on. These little, these little guys here. And I think we're ready. So the French start, yes. French start, where's my... Always a rough start, and then we get smooth sailing here soon enough. Yes, French start. All right, so let's see what the French have here. French have attack right flank, which allows to activate three units. Attack center, three units. A rally card. Probe center, two units, scout right, flank one unit, counter attack. Let's make the most of our purchase here and choose one of these. Uh, I'm going to focus on attack the center because rolling through the right, there's not a lot of hills on the right, and we want to get some of those hills. So let's do that. Three in the center, and I've got my boundaries marked. Uh, I need charts so I know what I'm doing here. Those should be line, French line, and they can move one and battle. And their range is two. All right, so let's move. This guy up here, are we on camera? Yes, we are. This guy here. Where is Davu? I should probably point that out. If you look over here, he's the only commander in the field with a poker chip underneath. So this is Davu, who we will be keeping track of throughout this game. Sorry about that. So they just moved. They're done. This is three units can move. Uh, then we'll move these guys one. Uh, they will be able to fire. So I need something to mark them with. They will fire with moving fire. And then these guys here will be the next unit to move up. And they will be firing half at half firepower. Okay. Diomede, thank you. Diomede. 
I will need there. I said it three times. I should be good. Back to the cards. Yeah, I'm back to the cards. At least for this this episode, I had to decide on off the cuff on camera, and I'm sticking with the cards. Maybe we'll see the dice in another episode. I kind of bounce around like that. So let's fire with. I may even change it mid-game. I'm a strange guy. Strange guy. So moving fire for French line, which is four stands, drops to two. We shall fire two dice. Beginning with these guys here. Can you see that? Yeah, I guess we can see that. And we're firing at infantry, so we're going to want ones or twos. We get nothing. I guess sixes would have worked, too. We didn't get that either. Uh, same here. Two dice. That line unit. Uh, three and a four does nothing for us. They're done. I think I forgot to draw a new card. Give me six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. That was the French turn. Then we go back to the Russians. Russians have, well, I'll show you guys and then go to the other side. Attack left flank. Counterattack so the Russians can do mirror the order the French just played. Nice little flank attack. That could work. Assault center. And recon in force. I'm going to do the counterattack. So, again, that just allows them, the Russians, to do exactly what the French did, which was three up the gut. Three will be standing fire from these guys, standing fire from the artillery, uh, and moving this unit up and firing at half or moving fire. So I'll turn that that way. That's our three in the center. So let's ring it up. Davu yet to see any real action. I mean, my Russian sheet. That is, there was no pre battle Mother Rush rule. For those of you familiar with commands and colors, the Russians had that as a uh, kind of a neat little flavor thing, but there was the scenario uh, did not allow a pre battle Mother Rush rule, so no bonuses for the Russians. So they start with three, only three stands on their line infantry. So even with standing fire, it's just going to be three. We'll start with these guys here. Yeah, the background is the first time we've gone outdoors. Usually we're inside here with snow at the, out the window. What do we want? Ones, twos, sixes, three and a five. Six. And I'm just a hair rusty here. So we rolled a, f a flag, but I think we can ignore that. Let me see. Bolster morale. Yeah, when supported by two or more friendly units, which he is, so they will ignore promptly, ignore that rolled flag. We'll move here. Actually, let's take care of this first. And moving fire for them would be what? Three blocks, two, uh, two dice. <clears throat> so they got a hit and a flag. They cannot ignore that flag, so they'll push them back. And we need to mark the hit. Stuff. Where is everything? 
I'm missing my... There they are. So instead of four stands, they're now down to three. And then we'll fire artillery, two hex range. Foot artillery, that is, three stands, standing range, fire, two hex range. Is three dice. <clears throat> we got one hit, so that'll be dropping them to a three. Dropped. And that brings us right back to the French. So there's our opening round for both sides. Hopefully it's a little more smooth sailing from here on. Back to the French. Did we draw a card for you? One, two, three, four, five. And let's see. French have a rally card, which we don't need. A counterattack card. I'm not sure I want to do the center again. Force March card, attack, right flank, scout, right flank. Let's do attack, right flank, and get Davu in the mix. The man of the hour. I'll turn this crap hole down. Tim, how you doing, buddy? What if Davu had been at Waterloo? Yeah, I've, I've heard conjecture regarding what would or would not have happened had he been there. Or Battle of Nations. Yeah, Leipzig might have been a different outcome as well. And I understand why Davu was not at Waterloo, but I don't know, like many, that I agree with that. <clears throat> I think he was a better battlefield commander than politician, whatever they were trying to do with him. <clears throat> All right. Let's refocus here. We were going to do three on the right. This is Davu's glorious move up the battlefield. All right, so... Shouldn't be too over overwhelming here. Light can move, and do we want to? Let's see. Oh, that's one other thing I need to check. When you're adjacent, you have to conduct melee. Yeah, you cannot fire, use range combat if you're adjacent. So light, French, we got a... French Light Infantry here. And I think they move can move two in battle, yes. One in battle or two in not battle. So why not do... Two in not battle. A bold, brazen move here and then this line unit will go one without wrecking the tree or the woods or whatever the hell it is one there and then <clears throat> these units stavus that he's attached to will move into the just now vacated hex here so there's that. And there. That means we should be able to, and I don't, again, this is probably a bad move on my part. Two and not battle. We are not battling. We move two. So there's the French. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to the Russians. Guess what they're going to want to do? Let's see, Russians, recon and force, that's tempting. Assault center, flank attack, attack left flank. Let's do this flank attack, that's two on either, well, each flank. All right, let's run through the flank attack for the Russians. Again, that'll be two on each flank. Obviously, we're going to run through this. I mean, should be obvious. Uh, we'll move these guys up 
And even if we do, well, we're moving them up. So they're done. Actually, they can fire half moving fire. They're just inside their arc of fire there. So there, and then the two over here. Sorry if that was off camera. I forgot to move it. <clears throat> um, one and done. Light can move two in battle. Oh, I'm sorry, two and not battle. Uh, one, two, let's put them on the hill. This is not a hill the French need. But it, uh, defensively, it'll be a hill the Russians like. Especially moving outside of their defensive zone. So they're done. That needs to be resolved here. Russian light is looking at like... Uh, just three stands as well. That would be standing fire, and that's going to be light infantry, black, four dice. Let's see what we can get. We're going to want ones. This is not ranged fire, for God's sakes. Me melee, thank you. Still going to be four dice, but uh, we're going to want ones, twos, fives, or sixes. And we got... We did just fine there. So we got uh, two hits and a retreat. Retreat they will, and they got cut in half, essentially. But they get the battle back, right? Nope, they retreated. Let me, let me check that. <clears throat> I think if you retreat, you don't get the battle back, yes? So there's half strength marked there. <clears throat> and uh, do they still have... Yes, they do. Okay. Let me verify that uh, inability to battle back because of retreat. Yeah, you, you can't battle back if you retreat, so that's done. We do still have... Camera, sorry. We still don't have a uh, range though, even though they retreated here. Half strength line unit. Half strength because they moved. It's going to be two dice. And ones, twos, or sixes will work for me. There's another hit, so this unit under Davu's command. Not doing well. If you can hear that, I think my ride's here. It's a stale joke. All right, then uh, back to the French, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. So again, we have another one of those pesky counterattack cards, so we could reflect just exactly what the uh, Russians did. And I think I will, actually. I mean, why not? Just to be spiteful. So, two on the right, two on the left. Two on the right, let's move him up. Which will let us move him up. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, right there. He gonna be able to blow fire at half strength. And him here. He will have nothing to fire at. And then <clears throat> two on the left. Looks like we'll be firing with this guy. And uh Moving this guy up here and firing half strength at this light unit. So let's see. Fives and sixes are a successful activation. What if a one allowed you to use one of the special cards? 
such as a bayonet charge, cavalry. That's a good idea. I may consider that. And there will be trees knocked over. Don't worry. I'm Even if I try not to, I knock them over. Uh, what are we doing? Melee over here. That is a... That, oh, yeah, that was a Russian light unit. Okay, so light infantry uh, melee. I'm sorry, uh, French. Let's, that would be French light. Four stands, four dice, but we're uphill. And when you battle uphill which is why the Russians chose that, you're going to lose one die. So that's three dice now. Ones and twos and uh, fives and sixes. We got one five, which is one hit. That drops them from a three, I believe. Yes, to a two. They will battle back. Same deal. Looks like we got a flag, and that was it. So <laughs> he gets pushed back. And the Russian, let's see if he would take ground. Let me check that. Would he move up? Does he have to move up? Is it optional? Where is that at? Taking ground. Never mandatory. Okay. I'm going to leave him there. And that means the, this unit here is going to fire half strength at uh, up the hill and that's also going to take a, a hit for them being uphill yeah so instead of four dice that's going to be four uh, three dice so just three dice What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We got, we got a oh, one hit is what we get. He's down to one strength, so it shouldn't be long before we can get rid of him. And then it was this unit firing half strength, moving fire here. I'll fix the camera so you can see. All right, yonder. Right here, half strength. That is ranged fire. Uh, French, not Russian. Ranged fire, moving ranged fire is two dice. We got a hit and a retreat, which can be ignored. So he'll drop from a three to a two. Most of these Russian units are start out at a th as a three strength. While the all the French start out at a four strength, you do the math there and project a probable outcome. While though anything is still possible, and then we go back to the Russians. What are we working with here? Is the Russian two, three, four, five, and? Two, three, four, okay. Options for the Russians: uh, recon and force, salt center, attack left flank, probe center, attack center again. Let's probe left flank. It'll be three units on the left there. <clears throat> three, four, 
three units on the left. So I'm not going to move up into melee because then you can battle back, right? Range fire, they're not going to be allowed to battle back. So why wouldn't you just do ranged fire all day long? Right? So yeah, range fire here. Uh, what was it? Three on the left, so one. Just uh, <laughs> I just had a weird feeling that Davu's could potentially get lit up pretty good here. I mean, he's already this unit's already almost gone. Maybe I should have held him back a little longer. I don't think he would have held himself back though, would he? Either way. Let's add that up. Uh, three dice, ones, twos, sixes aren't really going to matter, I don't think. Well, what are we doing? We're firing here. And there's three hits right there. So again, uh, I have this weird feeling that Davu is not going to conduct himself historically today. That drops them to a one. Good Lord. So now we have two of Davu's units down to one strength. Uh, this one's going to get removed here. I can just feel it. Three dice. No, that's light, so it should be four dice. Do they have? Nope. Let me verify that. Light infantry Russian is going to be standing range fire. Four dice. Uh, I think this is our first victory banner. And it is. They're gone. Russians get the first victory banner. So there's one. Okay. Knocked out a light unit. Uh, they may potentially get another one here with that artillery that's going to be firing, so just hang on a second. I need one of these. Russian picture painter. There you go. And then this artillery unit, I think that's three dice, foot artillery, uh, two hex range. It is three dice, yes. Yep, they're gone. There's our next victory banner for the Russians. Who aren't fooling around today. Just like that, Davu's lost half his unit. Half his half his men. That's not good. Another victory banner. Uh, Russians five victory banners away now from, well, victory. French yet to get a victory banner. Did I complete everything that I needed to complete? I believe I did. That brings us back to the French. Very lucrative turn for the Russians. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rope bell day right here. Let's let's so I'm getting a little panicky here for Davu. We have this rally card. Now that will allow us to roll. Let's see, roll battle dice equal to the command the number of cards in your hand. So that would be six dice and for each symbol rolled add one block one block of this type is returned to any under strength unit anywhere in the battlefield it may not be given more blocks than originally had so what do we get we got uh two infantry cavalry is not going to help us Half of these were cavalry. Two were infantry. What, what do sabers get us? 
I guess nothing. Oh, battle dice equal to command. All right, so what this essentially allows us to do is gain. <clears throat> these guys go back to full strength, and these guys go back to full strength. So that's what our Raleigh card allowed us to do. But it also says. Rallied units that gain at least one block are ordered. So that means these two units can activate. That is my understanding. That was this unit and this unit, was it not? <clears throat> okay, fair enough. One, two, three, four, five, draw another card, six. <clears throat> if that's the case, which it is, we'll move him up means he can fire at half strength and he will fire at full strength so let's go ahead and just do that shall we we'll do the full strength firing first right there what do we get do we got nothing we got a six but he's going to be able to ignore that because he has support and that was it <clears throat> so nothing there and then what about these guys? Let's fire. I don't want to fire uphill. Um, they moved, so it should be two dice. Line, let's da, 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 da. Line infantry, moving range, fire, two dice. What can they do? Anything? Yes, they can. One hit is what they can do. <clears throat> so from a three to a two. There it is. That was the French turn. Let's look at the Russians now. Consider, if you will, the Russians. We've got three cards that affect center action. Uh, a recon and force, which is one unit in each section. And probe left flank, which is two, two units. Not too keen on that. Uh, two, you know, let's do, so this center, assault center card allows us to, um, activate a number of units equal to the cards in our hand. That will be five. So five in the center will activate. Let's hit the camera, sorry. And that will consist of this unit center, yeah, one. Artillery, foot artillery here, that will be two. And unit here will be three. Uh, we'll move them up. That'll be four. Nothing to fire at, having done so. Move these guys up. That'll be five. All right. <clears throat> so we have three Russian units to re fire to resolve there. You think Davu would go for it? Wouldn't hang back. <clears throat> All right. Da, 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 da. What is he? A two? So two it is. Two dice. Coming at this fresh French line unit. And nothing. He rolled a six, which is a flag, but that can be ignored because he has support. And then here will be. Firing over the frozen lake. The reed ice. And we get. Nope. And a yep. So we got. Uh, uh huh. We got a hit and a flag, which he can ignore. So he will move back here. Drop from four to a three. I think there's either a parade or a second line going down my street. It is Mardi Gras season right now. I went and saw a parade last weekend. There was one last night I opted out of. I'll be going to more parades next weekend. Mardi Gras season has grown to be about a little over a month long now here in New Orleans. I don't know if you can hear that. Maybe I can uh, 
I was say maybe I can point the camera at the. <laughs> I don't know if you guys would be able to see it. If I lift the camera over the TV and open the door front door, you can see him going down the street. But suffice to say, there's a Mardi Gras parade going down my street. A little bitty one. Where were we at? Russian foot artillery. That's more important than any stinking parade. We've got. Two for steam range, fire two at two is three dice. The same as it was every time I've done it, and I can't remember that. Boom. All fives, which would be great if it were in uh, melee, right? But we're not. So nothing. And back to the French. Ah, French, French, French. One, two, three, four, five, six. What do we have? Probe center, only two units. Probe center, only two units. Force march, eh, maybe. Scout right flank, definitely not. Attack left flank, maybe. Attack center, maybe. Let's look at this force march card. Issue an order to all infantry units in one section. If I did that, to the, let's do that. All infantry units in one section. Let's focus on a force march on the center. Like Grenadier Guard Infantry Units and Infantry Units with an Attached Leader may move up to two hexes in battle. Other Infantry Units may hold, move one hex in battle, or move two hexes and not battle. Good Lord, y'all. All right, let's do this one at a time here. The only Guard Unit we have is right here. These fellers right here. So they will move how much? Let's mark everybody and then move them and then detract markers as they go. Because, again, I will get confused and not know what's going on. Uh, these guys and these guys. For those of you a little less familiar with this game than, than others, if you're on the cusp of these battle sections, you can uh, still... Activate. All right, so the guard can move how much? Up to two hexes in battle. Well, he can move two hexes, but I'll have nothing to, to battle. There's your two hex. Move right there. Done. Anybody else? Light. Do we have any light? No light. <clears throat> and no grenadier. So that leaves anybody else? One hex in battle or two hexes and not battle. <clears throat> One, oh God, two hexes and not battle. But look, we got to say uh, one of them there, victory banners there. <clears throat> At least temporary. But that's not till the start of the turn, right? <clears throat> we'll have to add those up at the start of the turn, yes. Yep, start of the turn. This is not the start of the turn. Yeah, it is. Sure it is. Well, they're getting one, so <clears throat> that's that. All right, here's our first victory banner for the French. Uh, but they're going to get tore up. So, again, that victory banner is going to get lost. We move these guys. will go two and not battle, right? One, let's put them here, two. One, two. One, two. If I've learned anything lately, uh, I feel like movement is kind of of the essence. If you just kind of dawdle and hang back, you're not doing yourself any favors. Uh, one, two in battle, right? So one, two, not battle. I'm sorry. I keep saying that. We're in uh, some interesting proximity here. And one, two. One, two, right there. Actually, right there. Not battle. And this is the only guy that will be able to battle. One and battle. It'll be melee. <clears throat> Let's see what he can do here. There's this feller here. Against foot artillery, shouldn't be too 
problematic. Uh, full strength line infantry in melee is going to be versus infantry. Any other? Okay, four dice. We're going to want fours, fives, or sixes, if you please. And we got four threes. That is just amazing. Just simply amazing. Uh, Russians, <clears throat> foot artillery, canister. Three blocks, three blocks it is four dice, and they're gonna want ones, twos, fives, or sixes. They got the one, and they got the five, uh, which means two hits will lessen them from a four to a two. That's another uh, victory banner, right? I just got on another hill there. One, two, three, four. Yes, it is. I will take my victory banner. <clears throat> now both sides have two. I feel like the key to this scenario is all these, uh, for the French at least, is all these hills. If we can take those, I'm trying to grab a Russian victory banner and I keep grabbing French. If we can make the most of those, we could pull this off, I think. So <clears throat> that was the French turn, was it not? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now it's the Russians. Seems like we just had the Russians to go. Russians, five cards died. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> uh, let's focus on the center with this card and try and take back some of those recently lost hills and the gate. Some French victory banners. What do you say? Good, healthy fun for the whole family. Relatively safe. Well, we're going with this here. And then we'll go with this here. That'll be our three. So, yeah, the French should uh, lose these victory banners pretty quickly. Never witnessed a Mardi Gras. They got all kinds of videos of them on the YouTubes. Of course, it is it doesn't compare to watching it live with all the crowds gathered around. Um, firing with foot artillery and melee is four dice. Four dice. What do we get? We got a hit, drops them from a two to a one, and a flag, which they can ignore. So they're still hanging on, and they can battle back. I don't know what they can do with one die. But... Ah, bless me. All right, battle back with one die. Can I get a four or five or? No, I cannot. Fine. Have it your way. But they're still holding the hills. So that's all that matters. Uh, same deal here for dice. They're going to want. Same thing. Ones, twos, fives, or sixes. I don't know what the hell just happened to the TV. What is that about? It like just turned black. I guess it's nighttime. I'll make it not nighttime anymore. How about that? Um, four dice. Three hits on that. Goodness six. Three hits, so they're down to a one. We're not going to be able to hold those hills. It's not going to happen. In fact, watch how bad it gets for the French after this. And I'll show you why. That is three dice, ones, twos, fives. Uh, they get to the battle back. Hold on. Not so fast. With one die, but they still get to do it. And they didn't get nothing. So here we go. Three dice. 
Melee. Um, what do you got there going? So here's why this is bad, particularly bad, because not only do the Russians get a victory banner for eliminating that unit, the French lose one for losing the hill. You see how that works? Doesn't that stink? Russians now four victory banners away from a win. Davu has lost half his men. It's just not a good day for, for France. Uh, they can... <clears throat> they can move up, right? Am I, am I dreaming? What just happened? Is that what's happening? So, back to the, to the French. How do you reply to that as the French? I'm not sure exactly. How would we reply? Let's do attack center. That'll be a, we'll echo the Russians here. So three French in the center can do stuff. Let's um, make that happen here. We'll move the guard up. Who is that old guard? Why don't I know? Yes, old guard. Now what is there? It's still just one in battle, okay. So we'll move him up one. We've got one there. And we'll do this one here. That'll be our three in the center, yes? <clears throat> We've got a cavalry unit here. That I'm not doing anything with light cavalry. Light cavalry over there, I'm not doing anything with, so I need to remind myself that they exist. Is that what we want to do? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Battling uphill, as it were, as it is. We're going to take, we're going to lose a die, but no matter, because we're going to get to a uh, hit and a retreat and so there's another interesting twist drop from a three to a two he will retreat and cannot battle back because he retreated that also allows this unit to take ground here which should be a victory banner since it is within one two three s is four of the base russian baseline so the French regain a much needed victory banner there. Now they're back to two. The Russians have three. And then we'll go to, we'll cut to this here. It's going to be three dice. And we're going to get uh, two hits. Which, guess what, means they're going. So the first Russian unit eliminated has just occurred. Do I? We'll get a victory banner for that. So now we're even on the victory banners with both sides having three. Do I want to take ground? I mean, do I? I don't know. Uh, yes. Because then we'll be out of the arc of fire of the artillery. They'll have to turn. At least in my book. All right, that's French turn. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. What are the Russians going to do now? One, two, three, four, five. Russians will probe center. 
and try and knock them off the hill. So that's two in the center that can activate. <clears throat> You're looking at this unit here and this unit here, trying to throw, toss them down off the hill. Uh, that's going to be three. We'll start with the artillery. Firing there. That is melee, and it's going to be four dice. Yep, four dice. Here we go. Wow. Okay, they just got three hits out of that and retreat. Now, that retreat can be ignored because they have an attached leader. But, uh, <clears throat> wow, geez, three hits. So now they're down to one. They'll battle back with one die <clears throat> and get nothing for their trouble. And then this infantry unit should be able to finish the job here, right? That's going to be two dice in melee for Russian line. Is that what he is? A two? Yeah, okay. I'll be surprised if this doesn't work. That does not work. He couldn't do it. The French battled back. Hang on. They hang on at least another turn. Right there. And back to the French. One, two, three, four, five, six. What do we got here? Here's something we haven't done much with is the left flank from the French perspective. So let's do that for the French. Move up the left flank. That'll be three. We can maybe get a little cavalry action going in the mix here. We'll see. We'll see. Don't get overly excited here, guys. We've got, um, if we stay put, we can fire full strength here, even though we're going to I'll have to check that, but even with ranged fire uphill, I think you lose a die. Um, these guys are going to move here. That'll be two. And then we're going to move the cavalry, so... For that line unit, it is... It is one in battle. Okay. So they'll battle and melee there uphill. And then the light cavalry there is looking at one to three hexes in battle. Well, <clears throat> so what we do is think about this. We'll go one, two, Three, because we want to go over the frozen lake. Hopefully, this will force them to form square. And then we'll attack that square with these guys. That's how you want to do it, right? <clears throat> so let's see how that works. Uh, to form square, we take a discard a random card from the Russian hand. Set that aside. And... Find a square, a square thingy. There's a technical term, actually, a square thingy. Set this card here with a square on it and put them in square. Now, when we attack a square, what is, what is the deal with it? We must refresh. Cavalry attacking the square. And then the infantry unit and square will battle first with one die. 
He gets nothing. And then what happens after that? Then the cavalry unit battles with one die. Well, that's simple enough. What did he get? He got something. He got a hit on him. So, <clears throat> what's his strength down to? One? Ha! He's gone. They formed square and got lit up by some light cavalry. See you later. The cavalry did their job and could gain ground if we wanted to, don't want to. It's optional in this system. There's another victory banner for the French. Now isn't that something? Let's get our victory banner. The card, since they came out of square, got eliminated. The card goes back into the Russian hand. Uh, victory banner, please. French now have four victory banners. They've turned the tables somehow here. The Russians were uh, came out of the gate flying. So they moved one and were going to battle, but that's not going to happen. These guys were going to fire, but now there's nothing to fire at. And I don't want to go on a frozen lake because you have to stop and stay there. I mean, is that the end of the world? Let me let me check that again. If that light infantry wants to go on the frozen lake, what am I looking at hassle-wise for doing that? Is it worth my trouble? Well, first we got to find frozen lakes. Really, all, all you do is hit the lake and stop. Well, that's fine. I can live with that. So they'll just hit the lake and stop. That'll be the end of the French turn there. Good job with the lake cavalry swinging around. And a nice maneuver there to uh, knock out a unit. Back to the Russians. Friends now three victory banners away from a uh, victory. Uh, Russians, we're looking at uh, recon and force. Probe center, probe left flank, bombard, and assault left flank. Might be in our interest to bombard. We've got, um, let's see what it says. Four or fewer artillery units. We have three that qualify. May move up to three hexes and not battle. Interesting. Or may not move and battle with two additional dice. Well, that's a no-brainer. we got to use that, huh? That's a powerful, powerful card there. Now, it doesn't say... It doesn't say it has to be in a particular section either, so... Four or fewer or units may move up to three and not battle. Well, this guy is doing nothing here. So we will move him one, two, three, or three. Do we want to go here or here? Let's put him here. One, two, three. Done. <clears throat> and then our three on the hill here <clears throat> will do stuff. Because it's fun to do stuff. All right, we'll mark them. Two, three. <clears throat> so that's going to be point blank fire there. This is going to be a stretch. I'm not even sure if I got range there. And then point blank fire on this unit, which is going to, that's going to be bad. In fact, let's start with that. <clears throat> and again, I'll explain why when we get to it. And what are they saying? May not move in battle with two additional dice. For God's sakes, it's brutal. That's just, that's brutal. I'm going to talk to GMT about this. <clears throat> Let's see. So it would typically be four. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, four. All right, fine. Five, six, seven. Now it's seven dice. This unit is done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dice. There's no way to, yeah, they're done. So here's why this is crucial. Yet again, this has happened to the French. Knocked off the hill, lose a victory banner. Russians gain a victory banner for eliminating French unit. You with me? <clears throat> you don't have to like it. Well, that's how it is. Now the Russians have four victory banners and the French have dropped to three. <laughs> Russians now three victory banners away from victory. Davu has been kind of a non-factor. Another one that's going to be seven dice as well. That unit is also one strength, so <laughs> guess what's going to happen? Yeah, absolutely. Gone. I have to see what happens to the leader. I think there's a leader casualty check you got to roll for. Another victory banner gone for the French and the Russians gain. Yet another victory banner. One, two, three, four, five. Two victory banners away from victory. <clears throat> for the Russians now. We got to roll our leader casualty check with said rules. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. Babu's going to save the day. That's what's going to happen. I've called it. I'm going to call it before anybody else does. Davu's going to turn things around. Looking for leader casualty check. Bear with me here. Leader casualty check. All right, we're going to roll two dice and two saber symbols. Or he's dead. He's gone. He is uh, not gone. So then, what happens? I lost my place here. There we go. Da, 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 da. Leaders retreat. Let's pull him back one, two, three to the guard unit here. And that'll be that. And then we have uh, one final unit to resolve here with this stinking artillery bombardment. That guy firing one, two, three hexes away at the old guard with the newly attached leader. Three hexes away. There's two dice. Add three, five dice, and two. And, you know, in theory, they could eliminate that unit with four hits, so. What did we get? We got a five, a three, a four, and a six. So one hit is all they took. And that'll drop them from a four to a three. So that was a just completely brutal turn for the Russians. For the French, rather. Courtesy of the Russians. Uh, back to the French. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cards. And I'm already wishing I would have used my house dice system to activate because the French would have the clear advantage, although you could argue they have the advantage with one more card than the Russians, but I'm not enough to actually have much of an effect. First strike, no. Scout left flank, probe right flank. Scout right flank, probe center. You know what I'm going to do here? I don't know what I'm going to do here. Let's probe right flank. I'm not happy about it but that's what we're doing here <clears throat> we've got this stinking light cavalry unit doing nothing one two three there they did something and we have <clears throat> this unit here that needs to do something full strength four dice lose one battling uphill unless you know what here strategy think 
one and battle, right? As line unit. Yeah, one and battle. So, victory banner for taking hill. Thank me very much. And melee against the artillery there, which is four dice. And we're going to get three hits at least. Ready? Oh, we didn't get any hits. Okay. No, we did. We got two hits. So he's down to one strength. And he got... Uh, so this is going to get even more interesting here. He's down to one. He also got um, two retreats, and he can't ignore one. He can't ignore them, so he's going to go... I don't mean to repeat myself, but I really don't understand retreating artillery. I think it would just get eliminated. Um, we'll say he stops there. <clears throat> don't have to, but can gain ground. Why we would not, I don't know. Put him there. And then on the next French turn, we can pull back and grab the other hill, right? One, two, three, four, for another victory banner. I like it. I like it. <clears throat> That was an oddly successful French turn, which brings us back to the Russians. One, two, three, four, five. Probe left flank, probe center, recon and force, assault left flank. Yeah, I think that needs to happen. Assault left flank, that's going to be five units on the Russian left, activating, doing things, wreaking havoc on the French lines. Um, left flank. So that's all one, two, three, four, five there. How do we want to work this? Can I actually do that? That would be really crazy. Russian line infantry, one and up only one. Oh, shoot. Do we have a light infantry? That wouldn't matter. It's only two. Um, this is going to sound weird, but here's how I'm working it. I'm going to pull them around in the hopes of regaining this hill here. It's only half strength here. Well, actually down one. And then um, maybe kind of isolate these, these two units that have pulled too far ahead. And then these guys here. No, nope, we're going here. Before I get ahead of myself, I can fire half strength. They can melee half strength, even though they're facing the wrong way. Another weird commands and colors game, game thing. Uh, let's let's start with this. Cossacks are two, right? One, two, three. One, two, let's go here. Try and put them in square as well. <clears throat> That'll be four. And then our fifth. One, two, three, wrap them around here. That'll be done, okay. All right, so. <clears throat> Let's start with these cavalry trying to attack infantry and make them form square. And uh, should be no problem there. Um, the Russians are going to lose two cards for doing so. Kind of a stinky ordeal for the Russians there. I need a square three, a square two. Square. And give me another square. Square and a square, okay. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, the unit forming, having formed square, battle first with one die. So, uh, to keep track, this, uh, they're going to fire with one die at that unit there, that Cossack unit. See if they can bounce them off. They do. They do. They got to bounce there, bounce them off. So, <clears throat> 
check the rules. Let's see what happens when you get bounce. Where is it? Good. Bounce flag. So all that does is cause them to retreat one. Uh, they're stuck. No, they can come out of square, actually, right? And why did I put the Russians in square on the cards? One. So pull them back one because they got bounced. I, I narrate this stuff as much for me as you guys so I can keep track of what the hell's going on. Uh. I've got the Russian cards pulled from their deck on square, which is incorrect. We need uh, this. There we go. And these guys, the other thing was these guys were going to try and put them. These are, uh, that was a Cossack unit that got bounced off. These are crosshairs. I don't know if it makes any difference in this game. Uh, causing the form square, they will fire one die. They get a six which does cause them to retreat but they can ignore that because they have support so then they battle back with a hit and they have now, now have strength so they drop from a three to a two that is now complete the crosshairs <clears throat> that leaves this weirdness well not that, that's coming up uh, let's let's keep it interesting here. Let's fire with this light unit, the moving ranged fire that Davu was attached to. They are full strength, so nothing horrible should happen. Light unit firing is also full strength, and that's going to be three. Really? Yep. Yeah. Three dice. This could be horrible or just fine. It is just fine. Nothing happened. No retreats, no hits. Good to go there. And then this unit, who's going to try and melee them off the hill. They are half strength. They lose one die for battling uphill. Got to retreat, which can be ignored because they have attached commander. They will battle back with, good lord, uh, it's going to be four dice there. With one, two hits, and a retreat that cannot be ignored. That two hits has forced him to eliminate. He's gone. So trying to... Battle up that hill at uh, low strength, backfired on the Russians. And another victory banner for the French for eliminating a unit. Makes four total victory banners for the French while the Russians still have five. That was the Russian turn, French turn. Only five cards to choose from now because we have this unit in square. Two probe center cards. Scout right flank card. First strike card. Scout left flank. <clears throat> Let's do probe center, I guess. Uh, probe center. Well, probe center. Okay, we'll do uh, move the artillery up and over. I'm sorry, the old guard, not the artillery. And fire half strength. And then <clears throat> then what? One, two, three. 
We've got light cavalry here. One, two. One, two, three. What is their strength? How do we want to go with this? Where do we want the light cavalry to go? Do we want to attack the artillery on the hill? Or the infantry not on the hill? Let's go this route. One. Let's go right here. I'm going to take that back, and here's why. They're going to go on the hill. Why might I do that? Because that's an instant victory banner for doing nothing, just moving to the hill. So I will take that free victory banner. One, two, three, four. Now both sides have five victory banners. First side to two more wins. Um, let's resolve this old guard fire, moving ranged fire uphill. And I think that's still a penalty, firing uphill, is it not? Infantry uphill, battle effects, yeah. So that's going to be two dice. No, it's not. It's going to be less. It's going to be moving ranged fire. They're at three strength. It would be three dice drops one because of the hill. Two dice. Got us a hit there. It was an instant hit. <clears throat> and all that does is chip away one strength point. They drop from a three now to a two. And that's the French turn. Two more victory bands. I think we can finish this entire game. It's only been, what, an hour and 20 minutes. I say only, but I think we can do this. That was the French turn, yes? One, two, three, four, five. Russians are thinking about one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got a rare bayonet charge card. You can order a few, four or fewer infantry units. You may move two hexes. I think this is what's got to happen. So here's what's happening. We're going to use this card. <clears throat> Issue an order to four or fewer infantry units. They may move two hexes and still battle. Okay, so four infantry units may move up to two hexes and still battle. Who does that <clears throat> who does that going to include? Let's go um, again to keep things interesting. Let's move these guys up here against Davo's unit that he's attached to. So that'll be one. See how he handles that. And then we'll move this uh, half strength unit up against the old guard. And see what happens there. It's two. Up to two in battle. Move these grenadiers into the woods here. And battle. That'll be three. Sorry if I'm off camera periodically here. And then for the fourth, that might be a no. That's not it. We can go one, two, here. And continue to chisel away at the old guard and see what happens. So we've got uh, the potential for something to happen here. Where do we start with? Let's start with one, two, three. Let's start with over here against Davu stuff. That is a full strength. Light infantry, full strength, three blocks, three dice. Three dice it is. <clears throat> We've got a hit, and a retreat can be ignored. So they're now from a four to a three, but they can battle back. And they will do so now. With a hit and a retreat of, of our own. So they drop from a three to a two and retreat. So that's what they get for attacking Davu. 
They lose folks and get pushed back. And, no, that's that. No and. Uh, and then these guys here, those are actually Grenadiers, right? Yes. Against that unit in square. How is that going to work? Let's look that up. They're stuck in square. Good Lord. Infantry versus square. Infantry. Da, 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 da. I'm not seeing it. Maximum number one, another one die. I'm going to say it's still one die. This could be incorrect. Uh, but for the old guard, let's see here. I'm probably doing this incorrectly. I said old guard. I mean uh, grenadiers. So we got full strength Russian grenadiers. That's going to be in melee five dice. Good lord. Three, four, five dice. Uh, there's a hit. And a retreat can be ignored. So he's down to one strength now. He's holding on. You're telling me he can battle back with one die? I feel like I'm doing this wrong. He is in square. I actually got a hit, but I mean, that would be into the forest. It wouldn't be happening because I would lose a die for battling into the forest, so nothing doing there other than getting dropped down to one strength point. Not the outcome I thought we would see, but still... Got a little hairy there. And then these guys here, we'll start with two strength line unit battling a melee against the old guard. Guess what? They got two hits. That drops them to one. Uh, old guard battles back. Got a hit. Good job. That drops the unit that just attacked to a one. However, we've got these guys over here, another line unit. Two dice. <clears throat> uh, with a hit. So the old guard is gone. What a mess. What a complete mess. Old guard is gone. <clears throat> this guy retreats to here. That's that. Bottom line there is Russians gain another victory banner. Now they are one victory banner away from victory. Do I want to gain ground? I don't know what the point is. Other than blocking their path of egress. Their friends there. All right, <clears throat> what are the French going to do now, I wonder? One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> uh, let's do attack center. How about it? Three. Three activations in the center. Firing with artillery is never a bad idea in this situation. What else do I have for center? Center. Oh, we can fire in this one strength artillery unit. And what the hell else? Center. We don't have a lot going on in the center. What about... Um, <clears throat> Uh, 
Let's get it down to two. Ooh, who's the third one to activate? I'm at a loss here. That would be beneficial. Uh, the, the guy in square, I guess. <clears throat> one die. Let's resolve him first. He got nothing, so that's what I get for my trouble. And then uh, let's see if we can get a quick victory banner as the French battling against one strength artillery unit down here. Full strength line unit. For God's sakes, get a hit. One stinking hit. Give me thank you. I needed at least one four, and I got it. Victory banner for the French. How many is that now? Victory banner for the French. Six victory banners for the French. We're one away. This could be awesome if this artillery unit can tear up this two-strength <clears throat> line unit. French foot. Melee. Four, block, four dice. Give me two hits. Two hits and the game's over. Boom. French pulled it off, pulled a rabbit out of the hat, and pulled a hat out of the rabbit. Even more impressive. That's it. French pulled it off. It wasn't pretty, but they did it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven victory banners. Kind of went back and forth there for a while. Russians have gotten to six victory banners. Yeah, that was... A little too close. A lot closer than I thought it would be. I kind of thought the French would just roll over the Russians, especially with all those hill victory banners you can accumulate. But, um, yeah, that's that. So, quick recap. It's been about an hour and a half. Not too bad. I'll come to the comments and comment on the comments. But, uh, actually, let's do that first. I don't mind you not controlling that. Canister away. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye, old guard. Davu. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to get any medals for this one. He lost half his men, but he held the right flank. And um, yeah, so overall, I think the Russians. Had the advantage a couple of times there. I thought maybe they were going to win it all. Seesawed back and forth a bit. And just by, and you can always tell at the end of these games, look at the Russian mass of troops on the right flank there that just were of no use. And, and that's one, two, three line units, three units of cavalry and an artillery unit, which really didn't hardly get used at all, if I can remember. Complete waste. So there's that to consider. But, um, yeah, taking the hills was awesome for the French. That helped out. And then as far as casualties, the Russians were able to knock out one, two, three, four, five, six French infantry units. The French were able to knock out four Russian infantry units and an artillery unit. So the Russians had the advantage there. But... Uh, territorial advantage, I guess, went to the French. So that's your victory. <clears throat> Davu still remains undefeated. <clears throat> and as far as the next battle, not sure. And I'm not even exactly sure how many of these there will be in the series. Obviously more than one. But um, we'll see what happens. I don't think... Let me check. I'm looking at... Uh, yeah, okay. So the other half of the scenario in this system is the uh, what they call Marat's cavalry charge, the other half of Ilo, which Marat has no, or I'm sorry, Davu has no uh, role in. So we, we were done with Ilo. El Fine. So.
So not we're not sure where we're going next, but that's the game. French win. The iron marshal remains ironclad. All right, guys. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. All right, we'll talk soon, and uh, maybe I'll give you another intro video on, on what the next battle is. Thank you for watching. We'll talk soon.